when we look at Kevin Durant, I've been on the record stating that if you don't win this year and Steph Curry does, you'll be viewed as the dude who left Steph Curry to join Kyrie Irving. Mm. So, obviously, you know, his mama didn't like that. My apologies. I don't want to upset Mama Durant at all. I never I, like to upset I, I, her. I, I didn't make Mama Durant mad. I, too. I, I, I don't want to do that. Flowers. I just don't want to do that. I, I, I love her to death. Uh, me too. Okay. You got Kevin Durant. I think he's the best in the world when healthy. It is what it is. But with this particular situation, for me, it's Kyrie Irving. Let's count the ways. Kevin Durant, regardless of what the hell he says, they will go on to New York. You and I know that. Everybody know that. Kyrie, like, let's go to Brooklyn, make our own legacy. They go to Brooklyn. Kyrie only played 20 games the first year that KD was there because KD obviously couldn't play at all, and Kyrie ultimately was down after 20 games. Mm -hmm. Kyrie is out. Then the pandemic hits. Then, obviously, they go through what they go through there and all of that stuff with the bubble and everything else, him encouraging people not to play in the bubble, all of this other stuff, all these headlines and everything else. Come back next season, all right? You go through next season, you get in the playoffs, yeah, you get hurt, all right? James Harden obviously got hurt with his hamstring as well. But when you were healthy and on the court with KD, y'all could have beat Milwaukee. We all assumed you were going to beat Milwaukee. Then we fast forward to this year. James Harden's there. Kevin Durant's there. You don't want to get vaccinated. As a result, the mandate comes down. We all think it's bogus that visitors should be allowed to, are allowed to play in the Barclays Center. But a guy for the home team like, Bar uh, like Kyrie Irving can't play at the Barclays Center, but the rule is the rule, the law is the law, and it is what it is, even though we think it's wrong. Everybody capitulated but Kyrie Irving in Brooklyn. And so you did it without Kevin. You, you went. You didn't, you didn't do it. That left Kevin Durant hanging. That left James Harden hanging, et cetera, et cetera. Now here we are now. Y'all just made this move. You wasn't getting along with James Harden. He gets moved out of there. You there now. In Brooklyn, okay, we know what Ben Simmons can do if he's on the court in terms of playmaking and defensive playability. Mm -hmm. We know what Seth Curry's job is. We know what Andre Drummond's job is. Right. And we fantasize about what all of those pieces can be with KD and Kyrie. The only reason KD was out is because KD's injured. If he ain't injured, KD playing all day, every day. Right. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. Kyrie, you never know. Got sit in that tunnel, see that team bus roll up, and pray that he'll come out of it ready to ball. Because it's really that haphazard. When you see Milwaukee, Miami, Philadelphia, Chicago, and all of that going on, it comes down to Kyrie's availability. Period. But that's on him. But that's why the pressure is on KD. Because he know who Kyrie is. And a he person. chose to rock with him? You mean that kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, like he's rocking with him. Yeah. We all know, right? right? right. Me, me and you both know that even when you talk about the coach, the coaching that went before they hired their coach, we know that Ty Lue could have possibly ended up in That's Brooklyn. That's right. That was like, but, oh, but, oh, you're but, going someplace. But, That's how you're going but, someplace right But we, we know why Ty Lue didn't end up in Brooklyn, right? Me and you both know that. Yes. Okay, so my thing is, is why... Is Kevin Durant defending Kyrie Irving so much? So since he have his brother back so much, the pressure is on you. Oh, listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to absolve Kevin Durant at all. What I'm saying to you is that in the end, the inescapable element, that's the elephant in the room, is what you're going to do, Kyrie. What you're going to do? You're going to be there for your brother? You ready to do this? You ready to do what you convinced this brother to join your brother? Because we have to remind everybody, Kyrie has always been a showstopper. He's right. always been a spectacular player. The Brooklyn Nets didn't want Kyrie Irving. They wanted KD. They took Kyrie Irving because Kevin Durant had made it very, very clear that he and Kyrie were package deals before he arrived in Brooklyn. So the bottom line is, is that if you know all of that, I'm not saying you're wrong about what you're saying with KD. What I'm saying is, when do we look at Kyrie and say, all right, bro, this is about you and what you're willing to do and what decision you're willing to make for someone other than yourself. What do you mean decision? Like, get the vaccination right now? No, no I'm just saying, one way or another, Molly, he's got to make sure that he is available 100% of the time, whatever it takes. Molly, Stephen A., I got a question to ask y'all. 
if the Brooklyn Nets don't deliver a championship or at least make it to the finals, who's going to get the blame? Wait, wait, wait. Is he playing full time or part time, though? If, if he's playing full time, okay. if, if if the Brooklyn oh, Nets... that's true. That's KD, no doubt. But what I'm saying to you is this: if he doesn't, and they and they fall in the playoffs, everybody's going to be talking. Kyrie wasn't available. Everybody, Kyrie going, was going everybody's going to be talking. KD chose Kyrie over, over James Harden. Okay, over, over, well, over. Harden. Yeah. yeah, yeah because I got he could, you. I wouldn't think about Harden. Yeah. I wouldn't think about Harden. I got you. I understand. But, 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 wait, 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 I get shaky, Molly. Why? And Perk is this. We all knew. We always have known. Kyrie, I'm sorry, Harden always wanted to be in Philadelphia the second that Daryl Morey arrived there. He just couldn't get there because Fertitta and those boys were not going to trade him to Daryl Morey after Daryl Morey abruptly left the Rockets organization. That's why Brooklyn was another option. He wasn't getting to Philly any other. Uh, he wasn't getting to Philly directly from uh, Houston because they were not going to do that. But Brooklyn wasn't what he signed up for. And if I agree Brooklyn with that. was, and if they were truly a big three and we didn't see them play 16 times together in two years, right. maybe he would have changed his tune and been maybe. like, hey, Philly was maybe. my number one but choice. But he always wanted to no. be if, but if, now if, I have with Daryl Morgan. Now I have a chance right. to have a real legacy in right. Brooklyn. No, but he had a change of heart. And this is why I counted you at. James Harden had to change the change of heart. With what? Where? But because when he got to Brooklyn, remember, yeah. this offseason, yeah. how was Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.